Trina went and got her a man. Not only did she went to go get one, she also married this man. Okay. She married this mm -hmm. man and she was engaged before. I, I thought she had got married to the other guy that we saw on the show, but clearly this is a whole new guy. And it leads me to believe that they haven't really been dating that long. Maybe they've known each other for a minute, but he's new to us. Okay. But she went over to Keisha uh, K.O.'s show uh, earlier this week. And she talked about how she ain't got no prenup on it. So I want y'all to hear what she had to say. Hmm. Good things come to those who wait. I truly believe that. All right. Did you get a prenup? I didn't. Why not? Because my husband brings all of his money to me. So what? I'm in charge. He can't spend a dime without my consent. Can't spend a dime for nothing unless it goes through me. That's that what phone I'm talking about. Ringing up, that thing go up. I see everything. That's what so, I'm yeah. talking about. So you always call me Mrs. Davis, Mrs. Davis. Mrs. What's what's your Mrs. Mrs. Kears. Mrs. Kears. Yes. Love yes. it, love yes. it, yes. love it, Mrs. Kears. <laughs> Good things come to those who wait. All right, y'all. Right. So y'all just heard Miss uh, Trina. She does not have a prenup. Y'all heard her because he gives her all his money. And it made me wonder, well, does that mean that he has more money than you, Trina? Even though we don't know who the hell he is, I'm thinking you the bag. But yeah, does he have... Money. So no. why did she think that was like a bragging right? I'm like, just because he brings the money to you, that does not necessarily mean that he won't have you tied the hell up should a divorce happen. Not that anybody is wishing that on you guys. But when we see Mary J. Blige, you know, Miss Faith Evans and other people, you know, that did not have one that's in that type of position, they ended up having to pay out to these men. Uh-huh. So you may be giving, he may be giving you all the money now. I think a lot of the fans are just concerned that at some point you probably going to end up giving him all your money. Yeah. For me, I'm like, if you didn't want to get a prenup because you didn't want to just say that it's not a flex to have that man bring you all the money. And you say that you see every transaction because at that point it's like, what do you have a child? Um, and then if things do get contentious, are you going to have to track every single transaction because then you don't have nothing set up to protect you should things go left? Mm. That's crazy as hell to me. Um, but yeah, it just, okay. oh, and trust and believe if he want to do something with his money, it's going to be done. <laughs> so I'm like, what are you talking about, Trina? Do y'all think she, before you go, Bondi, do y'all think that she made him look weak? Because I saw that in the comments. A lot of people were saying they felt like she made him look the weak. The way she said it. I, yeah. Yeah. It was like she, it, to me, it sounds like my assumption is that she's comfortable because he has an allowance. That's my assumption. Oh. A lot of people were saying that she emasculated him, but I don't feel like that's what it is. Mm -hmm. <sighs> he looked like a dope boy to me. I'm going to just keep it a buck. Um, mm. It looks like whatever money he's getting, she's cleaning it is what it looks like. Okay. Um, and so when she says, oh, he gives all his money to me, I feel like it's more so because she's going to manage it and turn it into something versus how everybody else is thinking like, oh, this nigga getting a nine to five paycheck and he giving it to her. I don't think that's what's happening. Can I think. Again? Huh? Yeah. Can you show his picture again? Yeah. Oh, his picture, his picture. Uh -huh. Yeah, let me pull that up. So you can see. Yeah, is is given whatever money he's getting, he can't tax. <laughs> hmm. So he probably giving her money, but again, it is given if he decides to leave you or if you decide to leave him, he's mm -hmm. going to be able to take a chunk of your money because of the way you're already online telling everybody that he's giving you his check. Like, and that usually means that he's financially dependent upon you in some respect. Right. So when your ass get caught up having to pay alimony to this nigga, if that happens, you'll understand why having a prenup was smart. And I think that because she's with a street nigga, she doesn't think she needs that. And I, that's what I think it is. I think he a street nigga. And so because this is a street nigga, and I, I could be wrong, he could have a legitimate business, but he looked like a street nigga. <laughs> so I'm going to assume he's a street nigga. And when you are like that, I feel like, you know, I ain't getting no course involved. I ain't doing, you know, they're not going to go about anything in a legal way. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, you know, when people were talking about old emas, and like, that's not what it is. Y'all are totally misunderstanding, like, why it is that he's giving her the money. I and think- you think it could also be that they not legally married. They might be Yandy and Mendeecees. Nah, I think she went and really legally married legally. this boy. Yeah. Mm. I think she did. That's crazy. I mean, if she wanted me to tune in to Love and Hip Hop Miami, that's all she had to say. Because I'm damn sure going to be tuned in, girl. Especially if they're going to actually show their relationship. Because you know how Trina don't like to really show shit. Um, and you know what? I don't think, yeah, I, I don't see Trina saying that she married if she ain't. So I'm, I won't, yeah, I would believe she actually did go down there. He and buys, yeah, yeah, he a drug dealer. He buys and flip houses. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I wonder what his name is. Now I want to look him <laughs> up. Yeah, I want to know how I'm they sure met and stuff. I'm sure he does. But to me, like, Trina will only really want to be with a street nigga, if you ask me. I, I I feel like she looked better with him. I don't and know how. Yes, the other one looked like a kid a bit. Yeah. He wasn't. I don't think he had strong enough energy for her. I think she needs somebody that's gonna play back, but with strong energy. And this nigga didn't already, you know, kind of went back and forth with Trick at some point on the last season. So he got some, you know, some ah about him, and I think she liked that. But it also makes me wonder, like, does he want to be with you for attention? Because Mm-hmm. Women, women with money who are attractive really be thinking because they are a catch a man that is interested in them is being genuine about being interested in them but niggas is hoes for, when, for for somebody with money just like anybody else right so it low-key make me feel you know i'm just weary of the situation but you know if she like it i love it girl you know i'm, I'm learning not to say nothing about nobody's relationships <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, if he is a guy that's flipping houses and making his own money and used to doing that, I do have a kind of a hard time believing that he's actually he giving you all, you all the money. Right. <laughs> like, no, he's giving Unless you what she he wants invest you to have. Right. That's the thing. You don't you can't keep up with how much he's probably actually profiting. Just like women have an account for a rainy day. If you mm-hmm. didn't want to sign a prenup and he knows it, or he's giving you this fake. um power to feel like you know you checking all his coins he gonna have an account for rainy days too and i need to know what else he's into because i feel like he gotta be into more for him to not only marry trina but to also get her to not have no damn prenup do we have an instagram that's a great question because i ain't seen that name is benjamin 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 kierce okay Trying not us being nosy. Why not? They put it out there for us to see. You were not Junior. <laughs> okay. Benjamin Kears Jr. Did we find him? Is this him? I don't know about an Instagram. I was trying to okay. find out more yeah, about who him. he is. That's him. Oh, so did she talk about him on this thing? I'm just scrolling. I need an IG too, though. Yeah, that's interesting. Because if you flip houses, you're going to be on social media. What's your house flipping website? Oh my Benjamin Curse Jr.'s job in relationship history. Child, why is it already? <laughs> yeah, I can't find him. Um, he's a real estate agent based in Miami, Florida, earns a living by buying and flipping properties. His business ventures have been successful, allowing him to build a career in real estate while also staying out of the music industry spotlight. So, what is this giving rapper? Because you know who he looked like, he looked like the healthy version of uh, oh boy. Mm. Future? No, uh, the other nigga from Miami that that tripped out and pulled a gun on a girl. I don't know that. They, they are oh, definitely officially married. Who flipped out and pulled a um thing out on old girl? Oh, somebody. Oh, he oh, do yeah, look like him. Play. He does look like a brown a brown gunplay for sure. So they got married in April. It appears. Yeah. Or is that May? No, I think that's May. Is that? And no, they got married in May, but it was recorded, I guess, a month before. And it don't look like he have an Instagram. So you flipping houses, but you don't have a social media? Well, yeah, that's what I was just saying. That's crazy. Uh-huh. Sean, now he got a hashtag before he got an IG. Uh-huh. Like I said, brown paper bag. <laughs> he flips houses. Okay. To me, there are certain jobs that that give uh, 
this is my graduation from selling drugs because I'm getting too old for this shit. And mm, uh, it I, is. You know what I'm saying? If I don't get out, <laughs> I might end up in jail or dead. So now that's what old boy it. thought he was doing on uh Love and Marriage. Uh, Moses, when he said uh, he an investor. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, I mean, I, I hope it works out for her because y'all know she's been out here, you know, looking for somebody to marry her seemingly for a while now, Brian. So I'm looking for somebody to marry her. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, when mm-hmm. you out here, you know, Mrs. 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 Like you put marriage on a pedestal. I have to, you know, a lot of time. Listen, you could put it on a pedestal if it's actually on a pedestal. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But sometimes it could feel like women that didn't have a lot of marriage around them kind of romanticize it in a way. Like Ashley from Love is Blind. I mm. haven't been watching that show, but probably. Mm. I'm glad you brought that up. Is there anything else on Miss Kierce or the Kierces? What's the age difference? That's what I was searching for just now when y'all was talking. I was like, I cannot find it. Okay, it I was literally look looking that for young to me. Actually, but she also don't Let look her age. Can... So there is that. How old is she? She was like forty something. Huh? Let me see. Trina, because listen, see if she... I can find someone. He Trina don't look hot, girl. I mean, in this picture, he's definitely giving. 45. She's 45. She he probably 38, if I had a guess. Yeah, he probably his awesome. late 30s. Let me see if I can find something. I don't know. It's giving 34. He graduated in 2008. It's, it's giving 34. Uh, he graduated in 2008. Born in oh, January oh, 1994, right? So he 34. He was born in 1990. January yeah. 1990. Shit. That's huh. nasty. As right? I feel like Trina was popping coochie somewhere in 1990. Oh, for sure. She she made the free knee videos. Okay. <laughs> Doing it. <laughs> okay. Listen, with a hard hairstyle, bitch. Wow. Well, I mean, ain't he grown, but okay. Yeah, he, he's really grown. Mm-hmm. He's safe. Stella got her groove back, period. Oh, yeah. Good for her. If that worked for you. Now know the whole Uh-oh. story. Let me go back. Okay. Did y'all hear about that white lady who did her uh who the fuck did I almost marry NFL edition? Oh, I started no. it. I didn't finish it. I'm so glad you said that. I'm yeah, I've been watching it, it on Real Wayani's channel, so I have to see the last part. But girl, <laughs> bro, when people be explaining it, like when you watch people explain how they've been in a narcissistic relationship and it just remind you of shit you didn't been through, you like, man, that shit crazy, bro. <laughs> like, I don't mind, they didn't save that. I, uh, and I'm she named him in the first video. They was like, oh, you serious? He was an NFL player or something? She showed him in video. She got videos of him. She, I mean, when I tell you that white lady was getting evidence the whole time, shout out to the white ladies that get evidence because y'all get mad at black women Receipts. with Bambi. When Scoot Bambi box. recorded Scrappy, Timeline. y'all said that was messed up for her. That white lady was recording everything. <laughs> the, the, the lady, did she have like um burgundy or like reddish hair? Now she had blonde hair. Mm-mm. Okay, so this is a different one. Okay. Well, I'm about to uh copy the link and send it to you. Okay. Hold on. I'm about to watch that. I'm gonna watch Yay. that. Yeah. Girl, but y'all, y'all stressing the influencers out because as I'm watching real with Yanni's video, like she did the second part, and somebody must have said something in the comments that you know, all y'all do is complain. She got off the live. I was like, damn, bitch, I was into it. She was like, I'm gonna get off. I'll talk to y'all later because y'all don't know how to act. And Who it did that? Real with Yanni. And it oh, reminded right. me about, like, I said something. I think somebody else said something just about people telling you what to do with your content. Or yeah. how to yeah. do your content. Like, shut yes. the fuck up. Yeah. 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 They definitely do that. Definitely okay, do that. I part two in there for you. But there's a part one to it. And we waiting on part three. But, girl, it's okay. a mess. I'm going to have to check that out. Very interesting. though. Okay. Okay. Anything else on Miss uh or the Kierces? Or are we good on the Kierces? Congratulations, Trina. Right. Congratulations. Congrats, girl. Congrats. Put in the game. Just don't encourage nobody else not to get no prenup, but good for you. You know. Okay. Candy Birds wasn't playing this. She, she was she on her wedding day. She was not gonna go down that aisle and side and sign. Mm-hmm. Right. She meant that. Okay, y'all. Oh, Joyce meant that. Okay. <laughs> 